Hey guys, Kate here from Fabberly. I just wanted to go over some of the new updates that we've added to the site. Um, you'll notice I'm on the homepage right now and it's in Spanish. Uh, the language of the website appears based on the viewer's location. I'm in Spain, so the page pops up in Spanish. Um, this is a really great tool if you're targeting people in different countries because the confirmation emails, the checkout page, everything will be in the language based on their location. So I'm gonna go ahead and select English. And I'm going to go to my campaigner dashboard. So start a campaign. Now that we're in the campaigner dashboard, please remember that request a campaign is for people who do not have a design and start a campaign is for people who have a design or who want to use the new text editor. So I'm going to click start a campaign. So choose the style. You can choose any of our products. You'll notice that we now have standard and premium products. Um, they're both top quality products. The main difference is that premium usually uses organic cotton, so it's more expensive, but picking standard is absolutely fine. It's a great product. Okay, so I'm going to select my color for my shirt. And if you want to add additional colors, this is where you can do it. Just select the color. And now we need to add the design. If you have a design, you will click here and select your design. Notice mine's a PNG file, 3000 by 3000. It can be any size, but we really recommend using high quality, high resolution designs. And this tool here, we can use to resize it or rotate it like that. But I need to show you how to use the text editor, so I'm just going to delete this design, sorry. And I'm gonna click write some text. So here I'm gonna enter Fabrily, oops. Fabrily Rocks. Okay, and I'm going to select a different font, so let's do Rockwell. And I want the color of the text to be orange. Here you can add an outline to make it really pop. Just keep in mind that adding another color will increase the cost slightly, the base price, um, just because you're adding another color. So I'm going to select white. Okay, so now let's move this up. Where it needs to go and it's outside of the of the box so I'm going to resize it so that it stays within the box perfect okay let's go to the next step so this is where you enter your title and your campaign description I want my campaign to go live immediately and I want it to last seven days for the URL, if you don't enter anything here, it'll just be based off of the title, but I want to add a customized URL, so I'm going to write FB2. If I want to offer different products, this is where I can do it. I can add the women's shirt, tank top, or the full sleeve, and then select the color, but I just want to keep my unisex shirt for this campaign. So down here, um, I've selected the currency as pounds, but keep in mind that the currency will appear based on your customer's location. So if your customer is in the United States, they'll see dollars. If your customer's in Germany, they'll see euros. Um, so really don't need to worry about this too much. So I'm gonna select my goal as 20. And that brings my base, my minimum price up a bit just because my goal is lower. Um, and I'm gonna select a profit of five pounds. So here you can see the price without that and the price with that. So if you're selling to customers in the EU or the UK, this is the price that they're gonna see. All right, let's select launch campaign. Now you should receive an email within a minute or two. Sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes, uh, just depending on your design, if you have a really large design file, but usually it takes a minute or less. I'm gonna go back to my homepage or my campaigner dashboard, once you receive that email, your campaign will appear within your dashboard. I just wanted to point out some things to you. Uh, we have some new options within the dashboard. You can now organize your dashboard by selecting different types of campaigns. So if you want to see all your currently running campaigns, your successful campaigns, or the campaigns that were canceled or didn't end successfully, then we can you can organize your dashboard based on that information. So I've got my currently running campaigns. Also, notice that we have these links here. If I click edit, I can edit the title and description of my campaign, and I can also edit the duration. 
And this is for people who who are launched who've launched a campaign, but maybe their campaign hasn't reached the goal and they need to extend it. So my campaign ends on the 18th, maybe it's the 17th, and I need, I need two more shirts. So I just want to extend it by two days, and so I can extend the campaign this way. Also, for the tracking codes, you can now add your tracking codes whenever you like. You click this link, and we have the conversion tracking pixel ID and the retargeting tracking pixel ID. Now, what we mean by these is, oh, let me take you to the blog. We're in the fabrily.wordpress.com, and this is the Fabrily blog. We're in the Internet Marketer Resources page. And down here, we have a tracking pixels link. And this just shows you what we mean. So here you see I'm looking at the same box. And this is an example of a conversion code. Um, this is the code that's created when you create an ad. So the pixel ID is this number here. This is the number that we need. And for the retargeting pixels, this is the number that we need. So I'll go back to our page. So you would just copy that number and paste it here, and then it would be added to your campaign. So this is the end of our updates. I hope you found this video helpful, and good luck with all of your campaigns.